Hey everybody, it's Alan, and I hope you're doing well. It's January 25th, and I'm glad that it's January 25th because that is Etta James' birthday. Now, a few days ago, closer to a week ago, I played an Etta James song on the anniversary of her passing. And though I really loved the performance of that song, I didn't really like the subject matter of the lyrics. And I'm glad her birthday came shortly after the anniversary of her passing so I could play another song that I really do love the lyrics of and the way she performs it. Here is a song in celebration of her birthday, Miss Etta James's A Sunday Kind of Love. I want a Sunday kind of love a love to last past Saturday night And I'd like to know It's more than love at first sight And I want a Sunday kind of love It's on the square Can't seem to find somebody Someone to care And I'm on a lonely road That leads to nowhere I need a Sunday kind of love Sunday dreaming, oh yeah, and all my Sunday scheming, every minute, every hour, every day. Oh, I'm hoping to discover a certain kind of lover. Someone, someone to enfold To keep me warm when Mondays and Tuesdays grow cold Love for all my life to have and to hold Tell me that's not amazing. I am so glad that her birthday came up quickly because I was really left with a sort of a bad taste um, regarding the song that I played on the anniversary of her passing. This, in my opinion, personally, from my heart, more than makes up for that particular track. Again, I loved her performance on it. I just didn't like the subject matter of the lyrics, but I, I tried to overlook one to listen to the other, and, and it stuck with me, unfortunately. But it is what it is. As I'm listening to this, I couldn't help but think, and this is just a random thought, but what if 
Patsy Klein had sang this song? And what if Etta James had sang the song Crazy? There's no particular reason why I'm thinking that. It's just it popped into my head. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Kind of interesting to think of. Again, because I, I listened to Etta and I listened to Patsy and I'm like, they're not the same voice, but they do have some some semblance of similarity. And I don't know, just something that popped into my head while I was listening to this particular track this particular time. It's an amazing, uh, amazing thought if you could switch and flip-flop people around. I mean, it could have done the same thing with, you know, Patsy Cline and Ella Fitzgerald or Patsy Cline and... Uh, and uh, um, uh, oh my God, Aretha Franklin or or Nina Simone or something like that. I'm just like flip flopping people around in my brain and thinking to myself, could they do it? Could they do the song as much justice as the original recording did? I think in this instance, the answer is probably yes. But I'm glad they recorded the songs that they recorded, and it doesn't didn't get flipped around because I don't know. It's just. It's just a silly thought going through my head, I guess, and I should shut up about it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this tribute to the great Etta James on her birthday. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Just know that I, I appreciate you putting up with my silly thoughts. And um, just I wish you all well. Take care.